A member of the Imo State House of Assembly has tested positive for coronavirus. The chairman of the COVID-19 Task Force Committee, Maurice Iwu, briefed newsmen in Owere, the state capital. He said the member and his wife have now been moved to an isolation center for treatment. The house has been shut down for two weeks to enable them to fumigate the complex while contact tracing is ongoing. The state has tested 760 samples with 135 returning positive, adding that the state is currently having a total of 92 active cases and has so far discharged 43 people. We also have a, a positive case from our state assembly, which made, which made it necessary for us to immediately test uh, or actually collect samples for testing from all the house members and their aides. And based on the outcome that we will get, we will not be able to know whether we will do contact tracing of uh, those uh, who may be positive. The House of Assembly will be is shut for two weeks to enable us to fumigate the place and also to, uh, to allow the members to be on self-isolation or observation until we know whether they are positive or negative. Like we said earlier, we are following a laid out strategic plan based on recognizing that this COVID-19 is not only a health emergency, but it's also a social emergency. The chairman also confirmed that a woman who just delivered a set of twins died of coronavirus complications in the state. A couple of weeks ago, we uh, had an enhanced screening of uh, our people to test whether they have uh, SARS-CoV-2 which causes uh, COVID-19 uh, sickness. To date, we have tested 760 samples, that is of, as of yesterday. Out of these 760, 135 positive results have been gotten so far. That means we have 92 active cases out of which we have also discharged 43 people from our list. Currently, we have, we registered, sadly, yesterday, one death case in our state of uh, a lady who successfully delivered of a set of twins just a few days.